Flames and black smoke seen for hours yesterday after a boat caught fire on the Intracoastal Waterway. Even after the two boaters were pulled from the water, the fire lingered on before it finally burned out. Tonight, we have learned there is only one community in our area with boats that are equipped to fight fires. And with today kicking off the long 4th of July weekend, many of you perhaps may be planning to hit the water. There are new concerns about fire safety on the water. News Channel 5's Kristen Cadell is joining us with the details. All new tonight at Six. Kristen? Jim and Shannon, as it turns out, local fire rescue officials and officials with the Port of Palm Beach say yesterday's incident was a wake up call and they are now working toward a change. It was a sight that could be seen from miles away. Gonna believe my eyes once again, another boat up in flames. A boat explodes in the intracoastal. One man is thrown off, the other jumps off. Emergency crews in the water and on land. But what you didn't see was a fireboat. Having a fireboat is, is a large expense. It could be between fifty and hundred thousand dollars. The only place you'll find one in our area is Boca Raton. It's been a big help for us. It was paid for thanks to a grant. For departments that, that don't have the boat, it's, uh, it, it seems a little odd because we are on the water. You don't necessarily need a boat equipped to fight a fire in every case. Agencies can also battle the flames from the land. But in South Florida, where boating is as common as driving, local officials are now concerned because attacking it from the water can help them get closer and prevent a boat from drifting. Our concern, of course, was which way is that? boat going to drift. Manny Almira is the executive director for the port of Palm Beach, the fourth largest port in the state. He says this scene was a wake-up call. I'm pleasantly surprised. It might be a, a better word to describe it. Because they have no boats equipped to fight a fire, not even the tugboats. Almira admits the majority of other ports have them, and his port needs them. It is my opinion that we're going to have to really be better prepared and possibly going out and getting our own boat with fire fighting equipment on it. For those who spend so much time on the water, it seems like a no-brainer. But local fire rescue agencies and officials admit finding the cash to get a fire boat is easier said than done. Most of the agencies in our area are quick to point out they do have boats to assist in life rescues, like the one that was used in Thursday's fiery explosion, but they are now working to make a change in the name of fire safety. Palm Beach County Fire Rescue officials tell us they are now working to get a grant to purchase one fireboat for the north end of the county and one for the south end. And the executive director for the Port of Palm Beach say they have decided to apply for a grant as well to purchase one. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kristen Cadell, WPTV News Channel 5.